Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Edge Sports Network. Got another interview today, part of our summer series. We got Colin Velp, UC Irvine men's basketball. Uh, great to have him on with us. Colin, thanks so much for joining us here on the site today. Oh, I appreciate you having me on. No problem at all. It's great to have you on. Looking forward to this one. I want to start real basic in your career here. Real easy question for you. I mean, do you kind of remember what age you started playing basketball and kind of your first memories of the game? Man, uh, what age? I, 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 I feel like Oaks, I just, okay, I grew up a, a playing. Uh, it's obviously, I've been playing for, I don't know, probably since I was, uh, 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 I would say around uh, five or so, and I've mm -hmm. just been, just been a playing us a playing playing us since a, a then mm -hmm. i know you start early and i mean you obviously had a great high school career uh just fantastic i mean you scored a thousand career points in high school two-time all league i know you played a good amount of time at east side basketball club as well uh so i mean in high school at east side when you kind of realize you want to play college basketball what parts of your game did you kind of see improve the most I would say uh, my my skill to uh, to uh, stretch out uh, the court. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, as a, a uh, okay, as a, a big guy uh, um, uh, that can uh, score from uh, the three and from from uh, from 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 a uh, fifteen feet. I I think it's a a, a good skill to have and mm -hmm. i think uh, uh, that's uh, something uh, that i i focused on in high school mm -hmm. for sure i mean you have a very versatile game you know as a big man as well and i know you know when you're getting ready for that college decision when that time kind of rolls around what was kind of the the college recruitment process for you and i mean what made you choose uc irvine right i mean oh so i i was um just, just uh, getting some calls uh, from some smaller schools in like the uh, W, uh, 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 CC mm -hmm. and the uh, WAC and all that. Mm -hmm. and so, and so I took a couple of uh, of, of visits and and I took my uh, f my final uh, visit uh, uh, to Irvine mm -hmm. and just talking to Coach uh, uh, Turner and the staff, I felt like. Uh, they had a good spot uh, for me to come in and play um, my uh, kind of 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 of, of a game, and mm -hmm. and I think uh, they had a good championship uh, culture, and 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 that was something uh, uh, that uh, that I was trying to uh, uh, join in on. Mm -hmm. For sure, and I know. So, I mean, I'm out on the East Coast here. I know you're out on the West Coast. You're from Seattle. Right. I, I went to the West Coast a few times. I was really young. I, I went to San Francisco, I think it was. And I, I think it was just San Francisco. But for some reason, I thought Seattle was like a six, seven hour drive to UC Irvine. I pull up Google Maps last night. It's 18 and a half hours. Um, yeah, no. So, I mean, was that kind of the first time that you've been so far away from home? And I mean, how was that adjustment going, you know, 18 and a half hours away? Well, 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 because uh, 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 I mean, so I've been uh, 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 traveling a, a ton. Oh, as a kid, I mean, because mm -hmm. uh, because 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 the both of um, of my parents uh, come from uh, Germany, and, mm -hmm. and 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 so I have flown uh, 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 there. A couple times, so I mean, so I mean, uh, so I mean, uh, flying to to school, it 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 uh, it, it wasn't all that uh, 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 tough to a change uh, mm -hmm. to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it definitely helps, kind of having that prior travel experience, uh, just kind of being, yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, being used to kind of getting outside your comfort zone a little bit, traveling around the world and whatnot. Because that transition being away from home can be tough if you've never traveled before, never flown before. So kind of good that you had that coming in. 
And I know college, exciting time. I mean, what were you looking forward to the most at UC Irvine in your college experience? My college experience, uh, 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 so I would just say, uh, getting uh, a, 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 a chance to start in a in a in a, a completely uh, okay, a brand new place. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, 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 coming from a place. Uh, 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 where it's 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 always uh, cold, and flying mm-hmm. uh, to a place um, uh, where it's always uh, sunny. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it was a good uh, okay a change. I thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I like that too. I'd say because I'm sure you know. You know, I know Seattle pretty rainy, pretty cold. We got weather similar to that out in Massachusetts here. So anytime you can get to a warm place for the majority of the year. I think that's always kind of welcomed um, because that weather is, oh yeah, that weather is kind of what everyone prefers right there in California, just an awesome atmosphere too. So much to do there, so much to kind of, you know, watch sports wise, plenty to do year round. So you kind of really got it going on right there at UC Irvine. And I know you redshirted in your first season. Um, I mean, how was that experience for you? Did you kind find that kind of helpful uh, just to kind of sit back? Learn a little bit before you really got into action. Yeah, oh, so I think it it changed um, it changed my whole uh, uh, career. Because um, mm-hmm. um, uh, I, since I I came in and I and I uh, wasn't um, I guess uh, I guess uh, I guess uh, physically uh, prepared mm-hmm. uh, to play. So. I, uh, so I, 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 I kind of spent that whole, whole first a uh, year just trying to uh, prepare uh, so that I could um, try to uh, create a, a, a role on, on uh, the team uh, that could, um, that could, that could that could that could that could that could that could uh, help us win. Mm-hmm. I mean, you come out your red shirt freshman season. You look so comfortable. So I think that year definitely uh, did pay good yeah. dividends right there. And I, I would say, I mean, I don't know if you feel the same way here, but that red shirt freshman season. I mean, this has got to be one of the most memorable years of basketball that you've had in your life. I mean, we'll get into the later parts of the season here, but. You guys go 30 and 5, win the conference. You average 8.6 points, 4.3 rebounds in season 1 of action here. Before we get into the magic of that season, I want to ask, I mean, how long did it take you to feel comfortable with this team and how did you feel like you settled in in your first year of play here? Uh, it's my first year. I uh, feel like I I kind of uh, got off uh, 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 to a slower start. I mm-hmm. mean, uh, I was in the first uh, in the first a few uh, okay, okay, okay. A uh, games, I, 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 I had to get sort of accustomed uh, to speed, uh, mm-hmm. but I think uh, by the uh, third or uh, fourth game, I was okay. Uh, okay, uh, okay uh, fine to play. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. I mean. It's a different pace of playing college basketball. It takes some time to get yeah, adjusted sure. to. And I think you did a really good job getting adjusted relatively quick. I mean, some guys, it takes a year, maybe even two. So the fact that you just kind of took a few games, got your feet under your there, I mean, that is really impressive to kind of do, especially after a redshirt season. And I, I want to go later in the season here. Big West Championship game. You go for your season high in points, 23 in just as many minutes. Shot 75% from the field, 9-12. So season one of college basketball, you haven't had that much play time in college hoops. I mean, not even a complete season yet. You step up in the biggest game of the year at that point. So how'd you kind of do it? How'd you prepare for that game and kind of keep the emotions in check to get ready for that championship game? Right. I mean, uh, uh, okay. Well, uh, personally, I wasn't... uh, 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 Okay, 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 uh, okay. Uh, trying to change anything. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was uh, trying to just uh, prepare uh, 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 to play in a championship, and mm-hmm. so I kind of just 
kind of just uh, um, uh, got out there and I played, and it just so happened uh, uh, that I had uh, 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 23 points. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were great. You were fantastic. And that gave you guys the momentum to go into the NCAA tournament here. Uh, you guys arrive in San Jose for the games as a 13 seed. You guys are playing Kansas State, the four seed. Uh, so I want to know, you know, in the days leading up to that first game, that first round uh, where you guys played Kansas State, what did you guys kind of do beforehand to get ready for that game to kind of prepare for things? Uh, uh, so we kind of just uh, prepared uh, the same uh, 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 that uh, uh, that we always do. Um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, just just a film and all that, and then and just uh, and just uh, try to uh, try to treat it um, uh, just like a a a a a a, a normal game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's tough to do sometimes too when you are on that stage right there, but. You guys handled it well. You come out, you get the win. I want to ask you, NCAA tournament, I mean, that's the thing that every kid kind of dreams of growing up playing basketball. I know you said you started at an early age. I'm sure that was kind of one of your goals from the get-go. Going into that game, I mean, were you nervous at all? I mean, I, I have to imagine. I know I would be terrified, but, but how were you kind of feeling headed into that game ready for your first ever NCAA tournament game? Yeah, I mean... Uh, oh, so it was crazy. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 oh, uh, oh, so, oh, kiss. Obviously, uh, that's been a, a dream of mine, and and to and to and to and to uh, and to uh, step out onto the court and to just uh, see uh, uh, the crowd and all the uh, okay uh, cameras and all that. Oh, mm -hmm. it was crazy. Uh, but then. Okay, as you, uh, uh, okay, okay, uh, okay, 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 uh, okay, okay, uh, a check in. It's, 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 it's just a, it's a, just a, a basketball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like once you kind of get out there, you know, it's just like any other game. Um, that's what I, I've exactly. talked to a lot of guys, and they say big games like that, you go into it saying, all right, I'm, I'm really kind of nervous, and then a few minutes go by. And you're like, you know what? This is the game I've played my entire life. You got 16 minutes in that game. Um, can you just explain the experience of how it is winning a game like that? Because a lot of guys will make it the tournament. They won't win a game, though. You guys won the game, especially as an underdog here. I mean, the 13-4. Right. So how was that win? And, you know, how would you guys feel after the game in the locker room and stuff? Well, well, uh, uh, so... Oh, 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 so obviously, oh, oh, so it was great, mm -hmm. uh, 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 for the team and 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 uh, the school, uh, but yeah, uh, but but uh, oh, okay, so we came in and 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 okay, so expected uh, 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 to compete, so. Mm -hmm. It, it 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 wasn't a surprise. Yeah, you guys came out there confident, coming off an unbelievable season. Um, I know, you know that is that thirteen four is always a kind of a tough matchup for the four seed. I think. I mean, that's one of those ones we see a lot of upsets. You guys went out and got the upset, and coming off a season like that. Clearly, you just built right off of that. I mean, you come out this past year, averaged 13 points, six rebounds, couple assists, shot the ball at 48% here in your second season. And I know I want to talk about your role on the team here. You more often than not come off the bench, but you're one of the more productive guys on this team. You know, sixth man of the year, best six player ever award this past year. And a lot of guys might be focused on kind of, you know, wanting to get the start might not like their role, but you seem to really take pride and embrace that role. So coming off the bench, I mean, how do you kind of get into a zone so quickly when you might not have started the game, but you're still able to be really productive? Yeah, I mean, it, it just uh, kind of, uh, okay, 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 uh, uh, take some 
some uh, okay, okay uh, practice, and mm-hmm. it, 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 and it was just a a a role uh, that I had to uh, sort of uh, get uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, get 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 uh, used to. Um, mm-hmm. But but I am uh, for sure. Um, um, more, uh, more, uh, more, more, uh, more, uh, focused on the team's, uh, okay, uh, uh, progress and, uh, and, 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 uh, success than, uh, personal. So that's the best way to be. And that's what every team kind of needs in order to get to the next level. I think you can have a great starting lineup, but if you don't have those guys, coming off the bench, playing in those roles, such as yourself, then the team isn't really going to go anywhere. I mean, a sixth man can take a team over the top, and it's shown in your first two seasons um, of play here. You guys had another great year, 21-11 and 11 this past season. I know, obviously, things were you know kind of cut short with the coronavirus and whatnot, but you're just halfway done your college career. I mean, you got a couple years yeah. left here if you want them. Uh, so, I mean, what goals do you kind of have for yourself and the team coming up, especially coming off a great past two seasons? Yeah, I mean, uh, for uh, uh, the team, I would like to uh, continue. Uh, 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 Oaks are uh, 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 our uh, success and mm-hmm. and uh, continue uh, to compete, uh, uh, to go to the uh, um a tournament and all that stuff, and mm-hmm. uh, to continue to win uh, 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 some more uh, championships, and and uh, personally, just uh, for me to uh, to help uh, 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 contribute in 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 uh, in in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, whatever uh, 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 a way uh, that I can. Yeah, you've done that so far, and I mean, you've had a great first two seasons here, and I'm sure you guys are going to see a lot more success in the remainder of your career at UC Irvine. Just a fantastic team, and you guys have just kind of been building on each year, um, so I think the sky's really the limit for you guys here. You've been great on the court. I want to talk a little bit about of your stuff on the court here. I know you've done some community service in your hometown of Seattle, Operation Sack Lunch. Can you describe a little bit about that for people that don't really know the mission of that, kind of what you've done with people in the Seattle community? Sure. It's just a, a, a shelter in 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 a downtown, mm-hmm. and it's just a place where people can can come in and volunteer to help uh, – Help, uh, help, uh, prepare and and uh, and and serve uh, food uh, 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 to the people who are staying in that uh, uh, shelter. I love that mission right there because you know you see a lot of college athletes, professional athletes, you know, use their platform in a great way and kind of always remember where they came from, remember their roots and stuff. So I think it's great that, you know, here you are at UC Irvine, 18 and a half hours away from home, but, you know, you kind of come back and still serve the community, serve your roots. So I always think it's great to kind of focus on community service as well, kind of the stuff that you do off the court. So I think that's definitely fantastic. I'm sure you're helping a lot of people um, in downtown Seattle there. Um, so I, I always like to end the interview, too, on one fun question and then one question that you might have thought about before, you might have not. My first question for you here, the fun one, if you could play on one NBA team, what team would it be and why? Hey, 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 a current team? Yeah, current team. Current team. Um, shoot, oh, I don't know. I would probably play – that's a tough one. I would, mm-hmm. I would probably say uh, 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 the Clippers. That's a good one. That's a good one, though. Fantastic right there. I mean, you got the coaching. You got the talent on the team there. Exactly. So I think L.A. Clippers would be a great one. And, uh, you know, definitely kind of stay in California. I'm sure you'd be a fan favorite. You got the UC Irvine kid 
coming up to LA to play for the Clippers. So um, yeah. definitely, definitely not a bad choice right there, Con. And I think you're the first guy to say that one too. So uh, right now you're Good. your top choice for the LA Clippers right now. But to close up here, Con, I mean, I I just want to ask you. How would you kind of describe what basketball means to you? I know it's been a huge part of your life, high school, college, childhood. So if you could kind of describe it, I know this might be tough, but how would you really describe what the sports meant to you? Uh, to me, uh, 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 the sport is just a place uh, uh, to escape. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, if I'm... Uh, stressed out because uh, of school or or just or just uh, something else um folks i can always uh, just okay okay uh count on on a basketball uh, 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 uh to help out mm -hmm. for sure i mean you look at sports and stuff i think that's kind of the great thing because it's just a way to kind of get away from the world and stuff right. and, and i mean just kind of clear your mind and that's what's great about sports basketball football baseball you name it and with college basketball, especially, I mean, you're you're playing right now at the highest level uh, that college has to offer on one of the, you know, better teams in the country, too, might I add. Um, so to go out there, you know, have that 40 minutes just to kind of unwind, do your thing on the court. I'm sure that's very special. But I mean, congrats on a great first two seasons here. Best of luck this upcoming season. Uh, I'm sure you guys are going to see a lot of success, as I said. But Colin Velp, I mean, thanks so much for joining us here on the site today. Fantastic to talk to you, learn a little bit about your career and what you're doing off the court. Oh, folks, I appreciate you. No problem at all. We'll put your Twitter right down below so people can follow the remainder of your career at UC Irvine. And we'll also put a link to UC Irvine's website so you guys can follow for news and updates on the team throughout this season and beyond. But guys, thanks so much for joining us here on Edge Sports Network today for another interview. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.